Pussycat was competing for a sixth Wars in succession. Using the formidable spinning blade to effect in its round one tussle with Brutus Maximus Twister and Rhubarb. Controlled by 16-year-old Stuart Barnwell, things looked good. Offensive, well controlled, but against M2 in round two, a high ground clearance proved its Achilles heel. And it was to be lifted, flipped, bashed and beaten. There's Matilda in the arena for the house robots. And there's Sir Killalot too. Three, two, one, activate. And off we go with the second of the All-Star Championships. First round heats. Please don't take on the house robots again. I don't think we can stand it. Beam off under pressure from Dan Tom Keir. I think the uh, ground clearance here could be key. Pussycat is vulnerable. Beamoth has the front scoop to prevent anyone getting in from that angle. Dan Tomkir trying to prise away under the side, you see there, and lift Beamoth's 100 kilos out. And that's exactly what they do. Out they go, Beamoth tossed simply away by Michael Lambert driving Dan Tomkir. And 17-year-old Daniel up the weapons, and now they try a carbon copy on King B. <laughs> And out they go. Cease. Dan Tomkir and Pussycat through. Pussycat said absolutely nothing to get through. And Dan Tomkir rests its case. Flipping fantastic. Dan Tomkir and Pussycat through to the All-Star semi-final. <laughs> We're through to the semis. Yeah. Didn't really do much in there, though. We went straight after King B3, which we planned, and we jammed their wheel up while the Dan Tomke took on Beam off. Yeah. And then King B was dead, and we knocked their chain off their weapon, and then they got rid of King B in the end. So you did do quite a bit then. Oh, we... I'll just shut, shut my mouth, shall I? You will. <laughs> uh, you looking forward to the semi-final? I am. Do you think you can take them on? It'll be close if I can stay away from that arena wall. Uh, I'll shut my mouth again then, will <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, go ballistic, the pussycat! Well... Both robots flip that the arena. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, it's never easy. It's yeah. never easy. Never easy. I had to dance for King B. Yeah. Um, and I'd be myth was a real wily fish to get hold of. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Dan Tomkia! Pussy cats. How's the spinning blade? Machine of Amanda and Stuart Barnwell. Cap three. Has the pneumatic axe. And the team of Keith, George and Julianne Williams. Roboteers, stand by. Who do we have in the arena for the house robots? It's a killer lot. It's a daunting place for the house robots tonight. And Shunt is back in again. Three. Suffering two, trauma from the earlier battle. One. He'll need counselling. And the Pussycat batters Cap three. This is going to be a... A vicious contest, isn't it? A perfectly nasty contest. Two cats with nine lives. Make that eight now after defeating the UK Championships Robot Wars 7. Down comes the axe of Cat 3. Pussy Cat, little nudge of the blade, gets it up to spinning speed once again. Not causing great damage there to the armament of uh, Cat 3, aluminium body, polycarbonate base. Pussy Cat will want to get the blade at that. See, it's just grazing the side panels of Cat 3. This is interesting, this one. Not as dramatic as previous fights, but very close. And if Cat 3 can get a blow of that pneumatic axe in onto Pussycat, they could cause trouble. The crowd, as tense as the battle. This is even Steven so far. Cat 3 missing. That'll count against it on the judge's marking of star control damage and aggression. Cat 3 has activated the pit. Will it try and push Pussycat down there? Ah, cat on a hot... Uh, wooden roof, really, I think it is, the arena floor. And if you don't know the film Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, you've just missed that point completely. But never mind, ask your gran. Cat 3 and Pussycat dodging each other, are they? 
great respect, I think, out there for each other. Looking on, Keith Williams, an electrician by trade. He needs to spark a little bit more life into Pussycat, perhaps, as far as his Cat 3 machine is concerned. They're dodging side by side. And again, they, I don't think they can get their weaponry really into full effect here because of the driving skills. You see, side by side, the axe is going to miss, and so too the blade. We're seeing there Stuart Barnwell, a full-time student at the controls of Pussycat. Ah, nearly got the blade to work, but Cat 3 turned away very quickly. And they're a long way away from the pit. And uh, oh, I'm going to go for a cat nap. Are oh, these two just sort of... Have a little bit of a couple of the judges at the end of the Seats. battle tonight. <laughs> Wake me up, judges! Who's won it? Star control damage and aggression. While they're making up their minds, let's see the highlights. A catatonic catastrophe of a contest as Cat 3 batters Pussycat. They're no great damage sustained, though. Very tactical. Turn into a dour battle late on. Judges. Still making up the minds, gonna ask the audience. If you think Cat 3 won, make some noise! If you think Pussycat won, make some noise! I've gone for Pussycat. The judges have gone for Pussycat! Pussycat. The heavier of these two machines, but the slower. The machine there of Amanda Stuart Barnwell, who's 16. Dan Tomkia. Perhaps that's the more potent weaponry, the CO2 flipper. Michael and Daniel Lambert and Stephen Gadsby. Roboteers, stand by. New winner for the house robots, Cassius Crone. And also Mr. Psycho with the claw and the hammer. Three, two, one, activate. Pussycat, Pussycat, where have you been? I've been to Robot Wars to see a lean, mean fighting machine called Dan Tom Kia. And I don't want to see it again at close quarters. Will that be the message from this All Stars final? You'd have to go with Dan Tom Kia on previous form. And Dan Tom Kia pushing Pussycat towards the arena side walls. And that's where it's so dangerous if you're a robot with a high ground clearance. And Pussycat's ground clearance is 10 centimetres. That is high, that is vulnerable. And Dan Tom Kia doing exactly what we thought he would do here. Can they get them over and out of, of the arena side wall? No, and Pussycat is away. Dan Tom Kia, don't forget, though, will have limited usage for that weaponry. High powered CO2. But the weaponry power cannot last forever. What's happened here with Dan Tom Kia? What has happened with Dan Tom Kia? This whole All Stars final has turned. They were on top. They were pressurising Pussycat. And to use a, a very high tech term, they conked out. And Pussycat has Dan Tom Kia not on the ropes but on the very side of the pit of doom and gloom. And Pussycat here is about to win the All-Stars Championship unless Dan Tom Kia can reignite the fickle flame of Fortune Robot War styling. Pussycat being pursued by Cassius Chrome and by Mr Psycho, they remember the earlier mayhem. Cassius Chrome has Pussycat in his venomous jab. Pussycat away. Trying to dodge the hammer blow of Mr. Psycho. And while all this is going on, Dan Tomkia is a beaten machine, and this is a stunner. Dan Tomkia 
count it out. Pussycat, the all-star champion. How unlikely was that in the opening moments of this all-star final? This is a major surprise. Oh! Oh, says Michael Lambert. He felt that from up in the control pod. And Stuart Barnwell trying to dodge Pussycat. Oh! <laughs> Mr. Psycho and Cassius Crowe bashing into each other. Did you see the glare afterwards? Mr. Psycho gave Cassius Crowe. And Mr. Psycho now is just about to trundle into and over anything. Dan Tonki, I'll go down that pit if I was you. Cassius Crowe is out of it. Pussycat is out of it, having won a course, and they jump for joy into the pit and safe. And then a round of applause from the Dan Tonkey sporting side. Six. Pussycat taking some late welly, but they're the winners of the All Star Championship. What a final! Pussycat couldn't let it lie, but no matter, they are the All Star Champions. Died, I should think, or the link came out. Yeah, because um, it was just like one bang and it was just like all gone then. Yeah, it's, uh, we kept trying to um, resuscitate it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's dead. It's just like a sitting duck, weren't you? Yeah. And then, of course, he was stuck on the back of you for a while. Yeah. I thought it was great driving, manoeuvring you over to the pit release button and all that. Couldn't quite get you in the pit. Do you know why? Because how old are you? 16. You're a typical teenager. Aren't you? <laughs> you couldn't let it lie, could you? You couldn't be happy with winning. <laughs> I don't know. You had to go and have a pop at all the house robots biting at their ankles, didn't you? Wow, it's the final, and fortunately, something must have went wrong with them and thought. We'll give that little new shimmy butt <laughs> a little hit. And, <laughs> and then it's a cycle. your mind. I tell you, it was a great show. Yeah. It was, it's um, got to be a good one for the final. I mean, you guys haven't won a thing for a, a, a while, have you? No, we've had a lot of bad luck, and it wasn't in Series 6. Mm. And, uh, so, and we had bad luck with the judges lately. Yeah. But this time, we finally got there. It was brilliant. You must be proud very now, proud, Mum. Very proud, very <laughs> proud. You are the all-star champions, the legend of legends. It's not going to sink in. <laughs> you're 16 years old. Showed those old men a thing or two, <laughs> didn't you, eh? Didn't you? Ladies and gentlemen, Pussycat, the All-Star Champion!